As much as we know about the air quality outside, the air we breathe indoors is more of a mystery. Researchers are putting in the work to understand that. Now Salt Lake City's mayor is getting in on the conversation. New specialist Jed Bull reports. Mayor Mendenhall has said that she's committed to improving Salt Lake City's air quality. So today she convened an indoor air quality summit to get that conversation moving. Outdoor air quality is an indoor quality issue. That's a critical takeaway from researchers who presented work on the indoor health impacts of Utah's wintertime particulate pollution, summertime ozone, and pollution from wildfires. Just under 90% of our time over the life is spent inside. The air we breathe inside relates to outdoor air quality because studies show that only half of outdoor pollution is buffered by our buildings or homes, and that percentage varies a lot from building to building. Since we spend about 90% of our time indoors, it is paramount for us to really be most concerned about, our, about the pollution exposure that we receive while we're inside a building, whether it's our home or a commercial building. Dr. Daniel Mendoza, a University of Utah researcher, has asthma, so this is personal. His research shows that Utah's wintertime particulate pollution formed in the cold does not hold up in a warmer environment inside. Those stable environmental conditions that were there to, for it to be formed no longer exist. So only 20% of that pollution makes it inside. But the pollution from wildfire smoke is different. During wildfires, about 80% goes inside. Why? Because those smoke particles, not only are they smaller in general, but they also are, we like to call them real particles. They are going to be stable regardless of the environment. Using an air filter with a MERV rating of 13 or higher can filter out as much as 85% of the indoor pollution. Today's summit is the beginning of a, a, a long conversation that we'll be having um, on what, what, what the public can do and what we can do as institutions to help protect indoor spaces. The researchers point out that there's a lot more to be done with public policy as the community learns more about the impacts of indoor pollution. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.